Hi, I'm Mrs. Martin, and I teach second grade here at New Albany Elementary School. Today I'm going to share with you a story called Once Upon a Cool Motorcycle Dude. This story was introduced to me last year by a bookmate who also is a retired librarian. And my students have grown to love this story because they can relate to it because it's about two children who want to write a really cool fairy tale, but they can't agree upon what the characters should be or what the problem or what the solution should be. I hope you enjoy the story as much as I do. Once Upon a Cool Motorcycle Dude. Written and illustrated by Kevin O'Malley. Illustrated by Carol Heyer. And also illustrated by Scott Gatto. For our library project, we were supposed to tell you our favorite fairy tale, but we couldn't agree on which story was the best, so we just made one up. Oh, I'll begin the story. My beginning's better, but go ahead. Once upon a time, in a castle on a hill, there lived a beautiful princess named Princess Tenderheart. Every day, Princess Tenderheart would play with her eight beautiful ponies. She'd name them Jasmine, Nimble, Sophie, and Polly, and Penny, and Sunny, and Monica. Her favorite pony of all was called Buttercup. Oh, please, don't call him Buttercup. Call him Ralph or something. One night, a terrible thing happened. A giant came and stole away poor little Jasmine. All the other ponies cried and cried, but Princess Tenderheart cried hardest of all. It was so very sad. Oh, please, get a grip, Princess. The very next night, the giant came and took Nimble and Sophie. Princess Tenderheart cried all day and refused to eat. Her father, the king, hired all the princes he could find to protect the ponies, but night after night, another pony was stolen away. The poor princess just sat in her room and turned straw into gold thread. She cried and cried and cried. When only Buttercup was left, Princess Tenderheart thought her heart would break. Oh, who would protect poor Buttercup? That's it. I can't take it anymore. I'll tell the story from here. Dudes, one day this really cool muscle dude rides up to the castle on his motorcycle. He says he'll guard the last pony if the king gives him all the gold thread that the princess makes. The king says okay, and the dude sits and waits for the giant. As if. He's not even cute or anything. So that night, the giant heads up to the castle. Man, this giant was an ugly dude. He was big and mean, and he had four teeth in his mouth that were all rotten and yellow and black. And his breath smelled like rotten, moldy, stinky, wet feet. That's just gross. He needs eight ponies to make a tasty pony stew, and he only has seven. So that night, he goes to steal the last horsey. The muscle dude has this really big sword. The giant and the dude battled all over the place. The earth was shaking, and there was lightning and thunder, and volcanoes were exploding. It was huge. Really? Volcanoes? Where did the volcanoes come from? Night after night, the giant comes back, but the dude beats him. Night after night, the princess makes gold thread and gives it to the dude, and he gets really rich. The end. That's it? The princess just sits around making thread? Yep. I don't think so. I'll tell you what happened, Bubba. Princess Tenderheart goes to the gym and pumps iron. She becomes Princess Warrior. Very cool. She tells the dude to make his own thread. So that night, the princess has this huge and tremendous battle. The giant runs back to his cave. The end. And the dude just sits there making gold thread. Nah, -uh. See, this is what really happened. The dude makes this really cool blanket out of the gold thread, and when he puts it over his head, he turns invisible. Then he goes to rescue the ponies. You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see us. The princess ends up going with him. All right, fine. The dude and the princess get in this big fight over who gets to free the ponies. The giant hears voices and gets so scared he jumps off the cliff. Cool, cool. 
So the princess and the prince fall in love. Who said he was a prince? And what's the stuff about love? They get married on a beautiful spring day and then they have a baby. It was the most beautiful baby girl. Uh, nah uh It was a boy. No, it was a girl. The end.